That's also a special color bird. Oh no, it's not that one. It's the wrong one. Uh, let me see. So these birds in here, they are three and a half, four months old. So, and when you have a look upstairs in the flight, you will see baby birds when they start molting, that means with about 12, 13, 14 weeks, I take them down. And at that age, it's hard to see the quality because they change completely. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess they turn, some of them will turn nice for sure. That's also a funny color bird. That's a opaline cinnamon golden face melanistic spangle gray. He's also red over violet. And uh, yeah, also funny color. A look at that hen. That's one of the next hen I want to pair up. Uh, well, I don't know why I like this hen a lot. She's for me close to my ideal. She's a daughter from my European show winner from last year. Uh, um, but my cox, I don't know why, they don't really like her. And uh, up to now I have one single baby from her. Now it's typical, she's with a young baby cock. But uh, yeah, you can see the difference, that's a baby. And that's an adult bird. She's now at her best, in the best, um, yeah. Um, in the best state, she has perfect wing, um, perfect length, she's a perfect bird in every direction. But difficult because my cocks don't like her. I don't know why. That's a young albino hen. That's also a hen that will be soon paired up. That's her sister. This year I bred a lot of albinos. No, that's not the sister. But for any reason, I don't know why, I bred this year uh, many albinos out of the Lucinos. Uh, I don't know, coincidence. Look at that hen again. That's the bird that I would show in perfect condition. That's a baby hen. She will become very similar in the quality, but not yet. Oh, look at that. That's a young baby hen. She fly out of the flight. And, uh, well, she's just a bow head. Starting to... <laughs> she looks almost like being ready. You can see the hen sitting on the X. That's one of my favorite birds, but we saw him last time on the other video already. You see, he has some pickets, everything else I would call him to be an ideal body. Um, let me see him from the front. And they have four babies now. The oldest one I took away. So three I left and one I took away. And the other eggs, they were clear, they won't hatch. But if you have babies with that color, then you know that everything is going well. Again, to explain, that's combination number three, two average birds. Um, 
you have the gray factor in, you have the cinnamon factor in, you have the opaline factor in, and you have twice the yellow face factor in. That couple is rather uh, what I call type three. A uh, big bossy hen with a sort of feathered, stylish, um, light green cock. I tried to breed more greens in the last few years. And uh, when I started breeding botches, I was told that light greens are the king of the colors. But in my opinion, there are not, good, not many good light greens around. And I want to try to, yeah, to breed some good ones. They should hatch soon. That's another color I like a lot. Um, that's violet, uh, violet yellow face, European yellow face with a spangle hen. That's the third round. I will stop breeding with them. They bred, that's one of my best breeding couples I had this year. They bred very nice spangle violet. Uh, yeah, and uh, and certainly will go on with them. If you have a look into my um, reading um, boxes, you can see I have everywhere natural leaves. They like to sit on them. They like to play with them. They like to eat the branches. And I think uh, it makes sense to give the birds natural leaves, natural branches. They're loving it. You see, typical bird of mine is that feather. Um, not too big. Uh, these birds are easily fly, able to fly. And uh, all the features I want to see in a bird. Directional feathering, back school, big round spots. And uh, yeah, nice babies. Uh, about the feeding, people ask me about the feeding. That, that what you can see here is 90% of what they eat. That's my seed mixture from Sandrobay from Belgium, red millet. That's, um, they get two, three times a week um, egg food with vegetable. And in the back, that's uh, a grit, different kind of grit. Here you can see minerals. Uh, they were eating as much in the last two days. You see, they really like it. And if they have babies, they eat like this, they can eat the whole stuff in, uh, in, in two, three days. Plus um, a sepia, sepia bone, and always um, um, for the calcium, a calc stone. Okay, so now we have to close. Let me see him. These are the couples. Last time somebody was saying that we had no time to look at the birds downstairs. Uh, that's why I thought we start with the birds from downstairs. We have to close the door. That's, that's a young hen and they don't know yet how does it work exactly. Uh, when they get older, they know exactly how it works. and. The young hen starting to mold. Um, not extreme in feathering. That's a baby spangle hen. A gray one. My favorite color, I think most, the color I have most is yellow face, thin and gray. And somehow it's always linked with top quality. These are all baby birds, a few about 20 weeks old. And in half a year, they will be old enough to be paired up. They came out here because they're curious. That's not the usual way, uh, but well, I don't care about when they come out to play a little bit. That's the opening gray hen from summertime. 
Uh, in a few weeks, she will be old enough to be paired up. Down there, that's a funny color. That's a gray wing. That comes out of, a, uh, of an albino couple. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, a gray wing, yellow face, old prime cobalt hen. See already at that. It's a baby, a baby cock. You see wide mask, big spots, and uh, certainly a bird that I want to go on. This bird, for example, the tail is too long. Uh, a feature I don't like too much, but a certain amount of that bird, uh, of that style of feather, you need. Look at that hen, she's also a little bit too much. Um, that's a baby gray wing cock. He will, be a, he will become a showbird. Um, that's a baby recessive. Uh, these are two sisters. This one and this one, let me see. You see, this hen is too much. But a certain amount of birds like this you, you need. Not too many, but a few. And then you get, when you make the right combination, you will be nice young again. That's a baby recessive type. Certainly a bird I will continue with. That's a young hen oh, uh, with blood. That's actually a good sign. That, my, that means that she, when they, they start fighting, um, that means that they soon want to breed. She's about six, seven months old. And uh, I'm sure I will try to breed with her soon because, yeah, she seems to be ready. That's another nice hen, soon old enough. I like when birds have a little seal, uh, uh, when the beak is really inside the feathers. Big fluffy opaline hen, also soon ready. That's a big spaniel. You see here, like, you see that one, they like to play with a fresh leaf. Or also down here, you see they really like to destroy things and uh, they like to play. And I think birds that are happy, uh, they breed better. And I think you have to take care that the birds are not bored. I mean, in many, in, in, in many stuffs, I think the, there is no atmosphere and the birds are kept completely sterile. And uh, yeah, people are afraid to put fresh branches in, what's in my opinion completely wrong. Birds like to, um, yeah, they have their natural instinct and you have to you keep them away, keep them away and um, when they are in complete clean rooms without um, any natural stuff they cannot live their, uh, live their instinct instinct uh, my english isn't good enough to explain what i want to say i'm not sure whether you understand doesn't matter two young baby hands again 
and birds that have this behavior, they're very close to me. They're not afraid of me. They will be. They will become very good show birds because they know that uh, yeah, I'm not a danger for them. And um, uh, if the bird is very shy, I will I will sell him. I don't like birds that. Uh, are too shy and make noise when I come close. Um, yeah, when you breed enough youngsters, you can take a selection and really only keep the bird with the features you want. That flahen, for example, he, she has one major fault. She's flecked, she's ticked, but um, I will keep her. She's a single bird, no brothers, no sister. And uh, you still can use her either for albinos, what would be good, or she can go into uh, enos. Eno family, then the flecking disappears.